Hello everyone. This is S. Geetha Priya from R&D Engineering College. In this lecture, we will be discussing about query processing overview. So, query processing overview is nothing but uh, when you are giving a certain query, so that query will be processed and the data that you are needed will be extracted from the database. So, the process behind all this operation will be covered in the query processing overview. So, that is whatever query you are giving, the high level query will be converted to low level query and all the operations will be done and the data will be retrieved from the database. So, behind this there will be certain operations like parsing, uh, parser and translator, optimizer and evaluation engine. So, query plan is nothing but the query that you are going to give for extracting data from the database. So, after uh, giving the query plan, if the first process will be done is parser and translator. So in parser and translator, three major operations will be done. So the first one is uh, syntactic analysis, next lexical analysis and semantic analysis. So in syntactic analysis, the query processor will be checking for the rules has been followed for the query or not. So when you are giving certain query, for example, select star from customer, customer ID equal to one. So this query will be fetched and it will be checking for the rules of SQL. So, if you are writing in SQL, uh, SQL uh, will be having certain rules or will be having certain syntax to be followed to write a query. So, syntactic analysis will be checking for the rules of the uh, query is satisfied or not. In the next step that is in lexical analysis, the query will be broken down into different tokens and the white space between the queries will be removed. In the next step, semantic analysis, the query will be, query processor will be checking for the meaning of the query. Meaning of the query is nothing but, if you are specifying a certain table name in your query, this semantic analysis will check whether this particular column name is present in the database or not. Uh, without, uh, if you are having a database, if a column name is not present that, but you are requesting the data from that particular column or particular table, no data can be retrieved. Uh, for this case, semantic analysis will be checking for the meaning of the query. That is, whatever the uh, problem statement, whatever the query you are given, whatever the conditions or whatever the attributes you are going to use, it will be checking whether all the table, column and attributes are present in the database or not. So, these are the three processes will be done in parser and translator. There is some uh, syntactic analysis, lexical analysis and semantic analysis. So, after the parser and translator, this, this is the parser part. The translation part is sense, the query will be converted to relational algebra expression. So, here you can see, this is the query that you are going to give. Select employee name from employee where salary is greater than 10,000. So, in the first step, the parser will be doing its action like uh, it will be checking for the rules and then it will be removing the white spaces and each word of the query will be converted to tokens. So, here you can uh, see that select is a token, employee name is a token from employee where salary and greater than symbol itself a token and 10,000. So, these, the whole query will be divided into multiple tokens and white, white spaces will be removed from the query. The next phase will be checking for the correctness of the query, there is a meaning of the query, whether the employee is a table present in the database or not, salary column is present or not, so everything will be checked. After that, translation part will happen where this SQL query will be con converted to relational algebra query. So, this is where we will be take, telling about the high level language will be converted to low level language or machine level language. So, your database will be understanding the relational algebra expression only. So, the query, SQL query will be converted to or translated to relational algebra expression. So, this is the first part. Query will be, uh, went to parser part and then translation will be done. So, the query will be converted to relational algebra expression. The next part of the uh, query processing overview is optimizer phase. In optimizer phase, a certain conditions will be checked uh, check, or uh, you can say that uh, it will be checking for the most efficient way for executing the given expression. So, you are given a query, all those operations are done. Now, you are going to process it and you are going to retrieve the data from the database. So, for retrieving this operation, what is the minimum cost needed for retrieving the data? 
so this minimum cost will be find uh, will be found by query optimizer so what are the uh, uh, factors will be considered for checking the cal uh, cost of query evaluation is cpu time number of tuples to be scanned disk access time and number of operations to be done so these are the certain factors which will be used for calculating the cost of the query evaluator by using this the minimum cost for retrieving the data will be found with the query optimization and then it will be entering to the evaluation phase in evaluation phase the data will be retrieved by whatever the plan that is given by the query optimizer so this is the uh, query optimization is the one which is going to describe the plan how data is going to be retrieved now so this plan will be told uh, will be told by query optimization uh, optimizer so by using the same blueprint evaluation phase uh, the, uh, the, the by using the same method data will be retrieved from the database and output will be obtained so this is about the query processing overview so uh, we'll see a summary of that so query plan the query will be given after that that will be moving to the parser and translator where in parser three operations will be done lexical analysis semantic analysis and syntactic analysis the first phase is syntactic analysis where the query will be checked for its rules and then uh, in lexical analysis the query will be divided into multiple tokens and white spaces will be removed and finally semantic analysis will be checking for the meaning of the query where all the attributes and columns described in the query is present in the database or not after that by using the translator the sql query will be converted or translated into relational algebra expression that is converting from high level language to low level language after that will be uh, moving to the next phase called optimizer so optimizer is the one which plan how to execute the operation so it will be finding a minimum cost for executing the operation by using certain factors like cpu time and number of operations to be done so after uh, planning a proper uh, procedure for a proper plan to execute the query it will be moved to the evaluation engine so evaluation engine uh, will be uh, following the optimizer plan and will be executing the operation and will be retrieving the data from the database so this is about query processing overview thank you